Good evening, fellow Flutsketeers. It's been a sad week for America. Apparently, we've lost our AAA rating. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Does that mean America won't be able to use their AAA card, get 10% discount at hotels, restaurants, things like that? Nope, I think it's much worse than that. Apparently, the way I understand it, I guess the financial world now thinks America just isn't as trustworthy as it used to be. I guess if America walked up to you on the street and said, Could you lend me $35? Yeah, I ran out of gas up the road. And I left my wallet in my other pants. You know, if you give me 35 bucks, I could just walk up to the OPEC station up the road, get me some more gas, fill it up. And I guess if, if America had walked up to you last week and asked, with, you know, when they had their AAA rating, you'd have said, Oh, sure, America, I know you're good for it. Here's the 35 bucks. Pay me when you got it. But now we're kind of like, you know, I need to see some ID. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll lend you the 35 bucks, but you're going to have to leave your license. What do you got you can leave as collateral? The Ohio River? Yeah, I'll take that. But, you know, you're not AAA anymore. I'm going to need more than the Ohio River. Kind of had my eye on Yosemite Valley. And maybe throw in one of those Purple Mountain Majesty things. That'll be good. That'll be collateral. Yeah, I'll let you have the 35. But remember, I want it back with interest. I'm gonna have to send China around to break your knees. So don't mess with me. Financially that's not good. So I'm being told. But you know I think all in all I think America is still the best country in the world to live in. You know my apologies if you're watching this on the internet and you don't live in America my apologies I'm not trying to boast or not trying to be snotty about it. I'm just giving you my own personal opinion. I think this is you know, this is the best place in the world to live. And I used to tell my kids that when they were younger. Would they complain about something like, We don't have cable TV. We don't have the latest cell phone. You know, whatever. And I would tell them to just realize how lucky you are. That our dog probably lives better than, I don't know, what percentage of the rest of the world. Our dog doesn't have to worry about food. Doesn't have to worry about shelter. It's got air conditioning in the summer. Heat in the wintertime. I mean, it sleeps on a cozy little mattress on the floor. I think it's got a better mattress than I do. My daughter calls it its souffle. It sleeps on its souffle. Could the dog have it any better? You know, almost makes you want to be a dog. I'm not sure about that reincarnation thing, but I guess it wouldn't be that bad of a gig to come back as a dog. You know, except for a couple of things. A couple of things I don't like about being a dog. Pretty much they got it good. Like I said, you're cared for. You don't have to get a job. What is a dog's job? Sleep. Eat. Poop. That's about it. That's pretty much all the responsibilities. Because I just kind of, in my own mind, I just kind of rolled peeing in with the pooping. You know, we'll just call it elimination. Sleep. Eat. Elimination. That's their job. That would be their job description. If they had a job description, that would be it. And they don't have performance review. And they really don't need it. I mean, how hard is it to mess those things up? You know, the only two things that you know, I don't like about being a dog. Butt sniffing. Neutering. Those kind of put me off the dog thing. I mean, when two dogs meet, they all, you know, I was going to sniff butts. What if you're like at a cocktail party? How does that work? Every time you meet someone, do you have to sniff? I mean, do you? I mean, do you only have to, I mean, do you only, do you sniff the people you already know? Or do you only sniff, like, new people? You're introduced, you know, instead of the handshake, you just, it's a sniff. I think it'd take me a while to adjust to that. You know, how does that work with clothes? I mean, when you walk up, do you just kind of sniff through the clothes? Or will we develop a custom where, you know, you would, when you met someone new, you'd have to kind of moon them and allow them to sniff? I, I, don't, I don't like that whole sniffing thing. So I, that's one thing. The other, you know, is um, neutering. Hey, get in the car. I don't want to. We're just going to go, you know, to the vet. Just be a short visit. You know, it'll, it'll be fine. I mean, you'll be you'll be out. They're gonna put you under. When you come to, you'll barely even know. You know. Uh. Oh come on, just 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 get in the car. Uh. Uh. So until next time, please keep all hands and feet inside the ride until. Uh. Better not get in the car.